Hey everyone, this is Chandra with Wild Root and Longleaf Botanicals. So today I'm going to show you how I'm going to propagate this dragon fruit. And uh, if we have time, I'm, still, I'm going to also do an African milk tree. So as you can see, or maybe you can't see, but I've actually got the greenhouse kind of set up. It's only been a couple of weeks and we've hung the shade cloth. I put the weed barrier down. I have all of my soil now. I'm starting to order seeds and starting my own cuttings. I have a few other things that I have purchased and maybe I'll make another video that talks about things that I bought to get set up. I was super excited to find this plant. So this is a dragon fruit. It's a natural mystic. It's one of the few, it's a hybrid. It's one of the few that has a red fleshy fruit. And I was reading, I've never grown this variety before, but I was reading that it takes about 35 days in South Louisiana to form the fruit from the bloom. So I purchased this plant at my local hardware store. They had these all summer long. And at the end of the season, there was a bunch of them that were just sitting around. And I kept looking at them, looking at them <laughs> and watching them. And about two or three weeks ago, I went there and I knew that it was going to start getting cold and these guys were not going to make it. And there was four or five of them there and they were marked at $36.99. And they were marked down for $10 each. So I grabbed this guy and I was glad that I did because he has so much growth and he's even grown a couple of inches since I've had him in the greenhouse, even though we did have a freeze. It did not freeze in here. I'm pretty excited to get him started. He's a little bit rough. He does have a little bit of rust. And I'm going to treat the rust with a mixture of hydrogen peroxide and water, but I'm not gonna let that stop me. Apparently this variety is prone to rust, but that's all right. We're just going to work with it and uh, see what I can do with it. And hopefully it'll put out new shoots and we can stop the rust from progressing. And yeah, we'll just see what happens. I might just keep some of these for myself and just grow them out and see how they do. Dragon fruit is one of those plants that I think if you're like me, you like weirdo plants, but it's a little unwieldy because you really need a good, strong support. Like this is not enough support for this plant. So after we get these in a pot and get them growing, I'm going to have to get some larger squat pots and actually make some stands that we're going to grow these guys on. So why I was really excited about this plant is because you can see each one of these nodes is where we're going to cut it and that's going to create another plant. So this one plant that was $36.99, I bought for $10 and it's going to make probably about 10 more plants at least. All right, so let's get started. So this plant does have spines, so we are going to use gloves. because it does give what some people call cactus kisses. So this plant likes very rich compost and it does like to stay a little bit moist. I have a couple of different tools here and you just use whatever you're comfortable with. I sterilized everything, all the blades with alcohol. After I'm done cutting this plant, we'll sterilize again with alcohol. So we're just going to cut at these nodes right here. All right, so once we have all of our cuttings done, what we're gonna do is just let these ends callous for a couple of days, just like any of your other succulents. And then we're gonna plant these up in some pots. 
and we're going to just put them right into our soil mixture which is going to be a nice rich mixture with a slow release fertilizer in it and we'll show that a little bit later and they'll just root right in the pot as you can see we ended up with 10 cuttings and usually if you're going to take a couple of different cuttings i would mark either the top or the bottom of the plant so that you know when you're sticking them in the dirt but i only took single cuttings of all of these and i can see that this is the bottom of the plant so i'm not going to mark that Okay, the next plant we're gonna propagate is this African milk tree. It is, okay, it looks kind of sad. I know it's in like this little tiny pot and it was like a little guy and then it just, it just kept growing like this, but that's okay. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna leave some of this and we're gonna cut this into sections, probably four to five inch sections. Like there's a natural break here and here i'm probably going to cut that and then cut it in half so we'll have one two three and maybe i'll cut it here as well so we'll end up with four and then i'm probably going to leave this and end up repotting it okay so this guy is in the it's a euphorbia and it does have spines as well so i'm going to use my gloves and i've already use the alcohol to sterilize my tools and we are going to mark these with the tops and the bottoms so i'm going to mark the bottom of the plant after i cut it and that way i'll know which end needs to go in the soil and i'm just going to put like a little dot with my um with a sharpie I forgot to tell you, these are messy. This is why they're called milk trees, because they have a white sap. And you really, some people are really sensitive to it, so you do want to be careful. You don't want to get that on your skin. This is obviously the top, so I'm not going to mark that one. All right, that's it. We're going to let these four pieces callus over before we put them in our dirt. I've marked the bottoms of the plant, so that's the part that we're going to stick into the dirt. I'm going to let this guy just heal over, and we're going to repot him with some fresh soil. Hopefully, he'll, he'll start sending out some new shoots. Here is the dragon fruit all potted up. You can see I've put these into one gallon pots and then I've just used a mix, a custom mix, it's just really well draining. It's kind of like a half um, something I would use for potting up just 
basic anything you know i've used like a pro mix and mixed with my own succulent cactus mix so it's very well draining let's take a look at i'm going to dig one of these up so we can see if they actually have any roots and i'll show you how deeply that i um i'll show you how deeply that i potted these up also let's take a quick look at the milk tree there it is all potted up as well and for this one, I did not use as much organic mix. There's no peat or anything in this. I just used my own succulent cactus mix. I can see a few little roots on the end here, just barely. And you can see how deep I buried these as well. I just wanted them to be able to um, stand up in the pot. So this guy looks good. I'm just going to put him back in there. One of the things about this, you don't want to, oops. One of the things about these is you don't want to overwater them. So we'll just keep an eye on them and make sure they have a little bit of moisture so they can grow those roots. And we'll check back in in a little bit. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed that. We've got a lot more stuff coming up. I have some mother rhizome turmeric that I'm going to plant, some shampoo ginger. I want to show you guys what we've done in the greenhouse. And also I have a bunch of seeds coming and I've already propagated some lemongrass, some elderberry and some other things. So look forward to that in the future. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And thank you so much for watching. Hey everyone, this is Chandra with Wild Root.